And um, what's the saying that we say to each other that I gave you mm. years ago? Yeah. You, do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? I do. <laughs> Um, I have it are we going to say office. it or are we yeah, just going to yeah, just... say it? Just making sure we're on the same page. But it's from a poem from E.E. E. E. Cummings. But it says, I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. Yeah. And that to me is a demonstration of of a higher covenant. Maybe yes. not the natural sense of covenant, but it it is, I am carrying your heart in my heart mm-hmm. and vice versa. So um, it, it is, it's, it's carrying the heart of the kingdom and carrying not just my own desires, not just my own direction, my own, um, you know, vision and calling and purpose, but carrying that of yours as well. Um, And so that doesn't mean that I don't have my own life, um, but it means that my life is for your life. Your life is for my life. Uh, we're, We're willing to lay down our proverbial lives for one another. So to me, that is, that is the higher goal of covenant is to carry another another life another heart with your own and can't you see that in marriage can't you see that in parents and, yeah. and kids if that is carried mutually mm-hmm. the health the maturity the freedom this is not ego driven mm-hmm. yeah you know it is life exchange it is mutually empowering it is mutually building it is that person is free. They yeah. are not bound or controlled or manipulated. They are free. Mm-hmm. And in that process, you know, really, like, you don't have to be ooey gooey, mushy gushy, lovey dovey. But boy, when you carry that, that is a high form of love yeah. that is experienced. I remember when I was real sick with COVID and Joel, you came up because Joel is not like a super, he's very pragmatic. You're not super emotional or anything like that. But he comes in and he's rubbing my leg. Okay, Joel doesn't really (laughs) do that. And he goes, mom, fight. Tell me you're going to fight. Mom, don't quit fighting. And I go, I must really be sick. (laughs) You were dying. That's what was happening. And when he did that, I go, oh man, I realized I was really sick uh, because he did that. So he was concerned but I'm sitting there going, oh, I love him so much. Isn't that so sweet for Joel to do that? He really loves me. You know? Yeah, I'm a less is more kind of person. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. when you give it, it coming from me, then Gosh. it means so much more. It does. And, and so, then you have other people, you should pour it out all the time. <laughs> Not pointing we, any We fingers. all have different contributions and we celebrate that. But, yeah. but it was just, I mean, see, that is, I carry your heart in my heart. Yeah. I think that I'm so glad you brought that up, Katie, because I think that really is foundational to covenant. Yeah. Because it, it goes beyond, yes, we need contracts. We need the understand that those are a type of covenant. Um, but there is a heart. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. You know, and and whosoever believes, see, that's the other side of the covenant believes, but will have eternal life. Mm-hmm. And so I think it's so important to, to recognize that the be- most beautiful modeler of kingdom covenant is our God mm-hmm. and our response to him. So covenant relationships are relevant, but they're not, what's the word? I don't want to say frequent or common, common because you're not making a covenantal relationship with just anybody, right? Mm-hmm. no. And it's not a dime a dozen. Mm-hmm. No. It's it's worth its weight in gold. Yeah. And and there is a price that is paid, you know, on both sides and uh and a way of living and treating one another that connects. I mean, I Well, how do you know if someone is worthy of a covenant over relationship? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Wow. 